Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Epcot for the International Food and Wine Festival 2024. And I'm so excited. My family is visiting from Pennsylvania and they wanted me to wait so that we can do all of the festival together. And I figured I'd uh, make a video and share all of our experiences with you. We're gonna go around World Showcase trying all of the new food items. And my mom wants to do a meals for Maj Montage. And I figured uh, we'd ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today. Temperatures are in the low 90s and it's the perfect weather for a family fun day at Food and Wine Festival. You guys excited? Yeah. I know, we're gonna eat lots of food. Lots of cheese, yeah. <laughs> There are 27 food booths or uh, global marketplaces, food from different countries all around the world that we get to sample and try. And I'm gonna see if we can do at least one item from each booth in today's video. We're definitely gonna do all of the meals from Maj Mataj because of my mom. Then we're gonna mix in some rides and maybe some shows because Ariel's never seen the Encanto show. And uh, I'm excited, like I said, it's gonna be a wonderful day. It's gonna be a beautiful day at Epcot. This is what we're trying to accomplish today or what my mom's trying to accomplish. Purchase any five menu items listed below. Make sure to collect a matching stamp for each menu item. After you collected five stamps, bring your festival passport back to Shimmering Sips and you get a complete treat unique to the festival. And I like that, a completer treat. I said a complete treat. And these are all the different things and everything's cheese wise from the macaroni and cheese to the grilled cheese to even the cheese bread. Even though we're here for food and wine, we're going to be doing a bunch of other stuff because uh, everyone seems like they have some like different priority when they come to Epcot. My mom's all about a meals fromage montage. Ariel wants to ride Frozen. She wants to see the Encanto show. Bonnie, Bonnie's cool. Bonnie just wants to be at Disney, and that's it. She's happy with it. So we're going to try to like do it like in you know groups. You know, uh, have like three of the festival booths, then maybe watch a show or ride a ride, and then go back. And also, it's a good. Way way to keep cool because it's super hot out today and I don't want my mom out in the sun too much so I'm going to focus a lot on some of the things that are indoors you know what I mean so that we can have breaks in between so we're just not outside constantly. Like I said, Communicore Hall is new to my mom, sister, and Ariel, and uh, they have a festival booth in here that's actually a part of Emile's Fromage Montage. I think we're going to go in and get some mac and cheese. Honestly, they got a big variety of different mac and cheese. Traditional mac and cheese, cheesesteak macaroni and cheese, truffle, and impossible chili cheese. I'm not too sure which ones Bonnie's going to get, but it looks like they're just around $6.50 to $5.50, so that's not too bad. And it kind of looks like it's a big portion. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, mac and cheese, so I'm happy that they're here and they get to try it. Because normally this is something I probably wouldn't be able to show you guys. Because I wouldn't go try all the cheesy things at Epcot. Even though that sounds pretty cool. But it's funny how I'm looking for volunteers and they're like, mm, me! Sign me up! Sign me up. <laughs> We're starting off strong with the Meals from Maj Montage and Bonnie and my mom are gonna try the Philly cheesesteak mac and cheese, is that what it is? Yep. And then this is the regular one. Yeah. Ariel's gonna try the regular one. Yep. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, she, might like, she does like pepper, so. Look at that, and we got our stamp already for our first little mark. I was kinda hard, I didn't know where it was, but there it is right there. And then like I said, all we have to get is five more and we get a free festival treat. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Make sure you get a little bit of everything in one bite. Everything. You know how it goes. I know how it goes. Mm. Mm. Ariel wants it. Do you want a pepper? Like a sharp cheddar cheese. A sharp cheddar cheese? Yeah. Peppers, onions? Yep. Would you get it again? Yes. Yeah. At the end of the video, we got to rank our favorite items, though. We'll go yep. through and be like, all right, this is my favorite. We all, we all pick one item that we love the most from the fest. I like that. <laughs> Now that we got the mac and cheese off our list, I think we're gonna try to do all of the like food stands that aren't in World Showcase so we don't have to come back out this way. So I think we're gonna make our way over to the other side to the Flavors of Fire and uh, some of the other stands that I'm excited to eat because they have the sliders. 
it smells so good right outside Creations because they have all of the food boots here. Coastal Eats over here where they've got the roasted warm water lobster tail. And then they got the jumbo shrimp cocktail here. I'm going to try I'm going to get that lobster tail. I think that's like one of my favorite things. But first, we're going to the uh, Flavors of Fire. Get those sliders. Got to get them sliders. Look at the way they're cooking up those sliders back here. Steakhouse blended burger. Look at that. Doesn't that look so amazing? Then they have the impossible one. And they even have some smoked corned beef too. But I'm going all in. I'm going all in on the burger. We all decided to get the slider and look at that. They even have a little truffle potato chip on it. Are you guys ready? Well, we got to cheers our sliders though. <laughs> cheers. I know. Isn't this so fancy? You know, a lot of people say this is the best thing in the festival. So I'm glad we're all trying it. Mmm. Yep. Good trip. Mm. Isn't that good? A little crunchiness of the chip. They literally have a truffle potato chip on it. I think it's so good. This is a good burger. I don't know if it's gonna be at the top of my list though, because there's so much. I mean, we're gonna we didn't even get into World Showcase. This is only our second stop, but I'm glad that we got it because I love sliders. I love sliders. Look how cozy this is. We're just sitting here in the park. Got the monorail going by, eating sliders. I love Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, there wasn't anything at the Flavors of Fire that could give us a stamp for a Meals from Maj Montage. It's all listed there, the different booths, but like I said, I kind of want to get something from every single booth. Um, if not today, maybe in the next video, but keep track. At least want to try something from all of Food and Wine. Since uh, we found a nice little spot right here in the uh, play area, I think me and Bonnie are going to go get some lobster from Coastal Elites. Ma Mom's holding down the spot. Look at her over there. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> like I said before, roasted warm water lobster tail with garlic butter. Here it is, the warm lobster tail with the garlic butter. And they give you a little grilled lemon for it. Me and my mom are going to split it. Bonnie doesn't like lobster. Bonnie's like, I don't like lobster. She's over there playing with Ariel. How are we gonna do this? I'll hold the lobster and you pull out the meat. Get it maybe on the center. Like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Play it? The lobster literally just explodes with juices, isn't it? And it's so good. The texture is good. I love the lemon. The garlic butter is a nice little touch, but I don't even think you need the garlic butter. Ariel. Ariel's never had lobster. Ariel, are you going to try lobster? Bite. Want more? More? Oh. Good. Is that good? Well, we came in Epcot, we ate some mac and cheese, sliders, and lobster, and now we're gonna go see uh, Encanto. Make yep. our way back over to like where the Communicor is. Yep. Ariel, you ready to go see Encanto? You wanna see Maribel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Maribel. The lobster's probably gonna be my favorite thing so far. I mean, I like the slider and I didn't try the mac and cheese, uh, but uh, what do you guys think? Do you think? You well, I'm gonna see how it improves my face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Did you... Well, the squirt I got. Oh, the lobster juice on the face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn into a dancing lobster. Bonnie, what is going on? <laughs> Bonnie, hurry up. Maribel comes out in two minutes. Ariel, we gotta go. Mom, hurry up. <laughs> We made it over to the Encanto show with just like a minute to spare. And I figured we'd just hang out here for a little bit, regroup. My mom's gonna probably go on Communicore and cool off a little bit. And then we'll make our way into World Showcase and start tackling all the food in there. Power would grow like the, the grapes that thrive on the vine. Ariel, look! Oh, Bruno! <laughs> it's Maribel! <laughs> it's them! The 
Encanto show was really, really fun. And I'm glad that Maribel came down and Ariel got to see her. At first, she didn't know what was going on because we were like, oh, we're going to see Maribel. We're going to see Bruno. And she was like, where? She's looking around. She just saw the people dancing on stage. And then when they came out and I was like, hey, Ariel, look, it's Bruno. She peeked up. She was like, she got so excited. I, I love it. I think it's really cool. And I think that's something the kids absolutely love. Now we're going to keep moving along and make our way into World Showcase. Look at how majestic that is. The monorail going by and my mom driving under it. <laughs> I know. Do you see the monorail, Ariel? I'm excited to share with you guys all of the cool things at this year's Food and Wine Festival, but I'm even more excited at the fact that my family's with me. And it's so cool being able to bring them down and take them out and show them all the cool things at Disney. Honestly, one of my favorite things is just showing people things to do in Disney. I don't know why I love it so much, but at the same time, I make videos showing people what to do in Disney. So now I get to make a video showing you guys and also take my mom, sister, and Ariel around and get them some food and let them try things that they've never tried because that's the best thing of food and wine is that you can literally sample things from every single country around the world not every but a lot of countries around the world she gone oh they got grilled bison grilled bison look at this grilled bison grilled cider brain pork tenderloin that actually looks pretty good i might get the bison look at the way they're cooking up the bison and the pork tenderloin right outside the booth here and mostly everything's 675 875 i think i'm gonna get the brussels sprouts and the bison together i would get the pork tenderloin but ah uh, that bison it calls me here it is i ended up getting the grilled bison that comes with butternut squash puree roasted mushrooms and huckleberry gastric gastric that sounds like a fancy word. And then the cast iron roasted Brussels sprouts and root vegetables. And look at these. They look so good. They have a maple bourbon glaze on them. And then also candied pecans. I thought this was shrimp at first because it looked like a shrimp tail. And I think we're just going to dive in. My mom's not the biggest fan of mushrooms. So this is basically all me, which I don't mind because they're eating all the cheese, which I think uh, the next two stands have something for uh, meals uh, montage. And I think I'm going to dive in. I think I'm going to go... Uh, bison first with this Hucklebee and then the sweet potato puree. Is that what that is? Sweet potato? I think if they said it is sweet potato puree. Or maybe it's butternut squash. A little bit of the mushroom. Everything all in one bite. Look at that. So here we go. Bison! The steak is cooked perfectly and I love how you get a big combination of flavors when you try everything in one bite. And you get about three pieces of the bison itself. I mean, it's not too bad as a portion size. Pecans, carrots, and Brussels sprouts, all in one bite. Mmm. The maple glaze is so good, and the Brussels sprouts aren't soggy. I, no one's got time for soggy Brussels sprouts. I love this. This might be a contender for one of my favorite things, only because I love everything that's in the bowl, and it's actually good for you. We made our way over to Harvest Hollow. Look at all the pumpkins over here, Mom. How's that fan working? Oh, it's beautiful. Is it nice? Bonnie's in line. She's getting the pumpkin ravioli. Are you excited? Oh. Pumpkin ravioli. Do you like pumpkin? Yes. Do you? Yeah. And I like how they have pumpkins out here, too. Look at a bunch of pumpkins over there. Oh, look at her. She got a Powerade, too. I see you. Bonnie's looking cool with her shades on. Now, this will be our second stamp. So we only have uh, three more to go, and then we get our completion stamp. Oh, so wow. three more, Mom. This is all you. You get the prize, too. Oh, good. <laughs> Here it is. The pumpkin mascarpone ravioli. You get three raviolis there. Are you guys all going to eat it? Maybe Ariel might like it. She might. Oh, fancy. Ariel, you want to try? Mm. No. <laughs> Bonnie's going in for first bite. You like it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. My, your turn to dive in. Okay. A little bland, but not bad. A little bland? Yeah. It doesn't taste enough like pumpkin, or it doesn't taste enough it, like I cheese? You get more of a cheese flavor. A with cheese the hint flavor. Of pumpkin. Oh. Ah. the one you cut. Right there. Is the one it? on top. Oh, just take a big bite out of it, Ma. Oh. There it's you go. I like it. You'll like it. Oh. That's a big bite. With the pumpkin ravioli, that gives us our second stamp. 
Look at that. Almost there, like I said. And I'm not even sure what the festival treat is this year. They usually give you like an ice cream, like a cheesecake soft serve, and then uh, maybe a collectible cup. But I'm here for it. If it's free, it's for me. Technically, it's not free because you have to buy, you know, five of these items here. But the average amount to like five or six dollars. But it's a part of the experience. So it's not that, like I said, it's more about enjoying your time, eating what a meal would like to eat. We made it to World Showcase now, guys. Look at that. And I was saying we should stop at Shimmering Sips, which is over here. But that's the redemption location for a meal. So we'll uh, make that our last stop. Right now, we got to make our way. I think we're going to go ride Frozen. And I want Bonnie and my mom to try the pickle milkshake. The pickle milkshake. It's a milkshake? It's a milkshake. A pickle milkshake. The pickle milkshake is in the Brew Wing uh, Odyssey. And I remember last year, people just, there were so many people that were like, oh, it's disgusting. Other people liked it. But honestly, I think it just tastes like, kind of like a shamrock shake with a little dill, little dill seasoning in it. I'm so happy they brought this back. Brew Wing Lab at the Odyssey. And I love that they have a little Muppet mix in there too. And here's some of the food-based experiments. They've got traditional buffalo wings right here. Peanut butter and jelly sticky wings. Garlic parm wings. They've got the pickle milkshake. A frozen pomegranate raspberry tea. Bonnie is going in for the pickle milkshake. My mom, I think she needs some convincing, isn't she? I yeah. could tell she says it. So you try it. Okay. Tell her it's wonderful. Yep. <laughs> Wait, no, but you're going to like it. It's not that bad. No. It really isn't. You like pickles. Yeah, like you like it. pickles. And vel Go ahead. Yeah. It's like eating a cheeseburger and then taking a, a, like a sip of a vanilla milkshake. Is it horrible? Um, It's not bad, but it's not good. It's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> but tell mom it's great. It's excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I'm even gonna give it a sip too. Tastes like a shamrock shake to me. You don't taste the pickle at the end there? At the end. It's like dilly. It's dilly. Yeah. You gonna try it, mom? Oh my god. Pickle melty. Bonnie loved it. Did you? No way. She did love it. Hey. Wow, it's really nothing. <laughs> I told you. Wow. It tastes like a, like a, like a, it's like you're eating a cheeseburger and then you're taking a sip of a vanilla milkshake. Yeah. Ah, mom likes the pickle. What do you think, Ariel will like it? Ariel. Ariel, you want a sip? You want a sip of milkshake? Ariel, want to try? Milkshake. Do you like it? Is that good? Do you want more? No. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> well, I took a big swallow. And now you got a little bit of that pickle, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but you want the cup. I you want don't the cup. hack. It. You know, you have to drink it all as fast as possible so that you can wash out the cup. Oh no. <laughs> My mom did not finish the milkshake. She did like it, though. And it's funny because she was very hesitant with it. Bonnie was like, yeah, sure, I'll try anything. She's kind of like me. She'll try something, but it doesn't mean that she's going to like it. So I went in, washed it out a little bit, and put some towels in there so she could put it in her purse. Put it in your purse. <laughs> We're going to take a break from eating the food for Food and Wine Festival, and we're going to go ride Frozen. Ariel's been talking about Frozen the whole entire trip. She loves riding rides, and this is one of her favorites from the last time. Yeah, we're riding Frozen, Ariel. Anna! After we get done with Frozen, I think we're going to make our way to Germany. That's the next stop for uh, a Mules uh, montage. I just think I'm going to call it a Mules anymore. A Mules. <laughs> Yeah, you guys go one. I'll go two. Yeah, yeah. What? We're leaning back. Oh, okay. Oh, like, oh, 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 oh,
how you know all the words. I know every word. <laughs> Errol, do you love it? You want to ride again? Frozen kind of reset me there for a little bit. It was hot. Then we got caught with the little rain, but sat down and went on a nice little dark ride. Now I'm feeling brand new, and Ariel loves that ride. She gets so excited, and uh, I think we're going to keep moving along, maybe get some more food from the fruit and wine. Look behind you. You missed it. A nice juicy... Oh, no. What is I love how amazed you guys are of the ducks. Oh, is that little love bug? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I've never seen a love bug before. I'm amazed how you're amazed by the ducks in Epcot. Yeah. Ducks. What are those white ones? Those are devils. They'll try to steal all your food. <laughs> they really well, will. I heard that the reason why their legs are pink is because they like to eat shrimp. That's Where did you hear flamingos. that from? That, you heard that on Kilimanjaro Safaris. Yeah. <laughs> That's flamingos. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Mom, I love you for that. <laughs> I noticed that they had a chocolate amarella mousse, kind of like a zebra dome here at the refreshment outpost, and Bonnie loves those, so I think I'm going to grab one so we all uh, can give it a try. Look at how massive this is. Biggest zebra dome I've ever seen. The biggest zebra dome I've ever seen. The only zebra dome I've seen. No, you've eaten oh, zebra domes yeah, before at there. Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's dive in. Everyone just grab a fork and go to town. Oh, I'm grabbing a nice big chunk here. I like how Bonnie held her fork up so that we can cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the inside of this. Oh, man, this is such a delicious little treat. This might be my favorite thing in the festival. Like, really, it's so good. Like I said, I like having my family here because I don't have to eat all the food and I don't waste anything. But I'll tell you what, I would eat that whole entire thing myself. It was so good. And now I think we're going to just keep moving along. I think Germany's next and Spain. There's a couple of spots my mom wants to stop. We made our way back to Germany and they have the Alps over here where I'm sure some of this has got to be on a meals for a Maj Montage. It's just all cheese. Ready? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Mom, we should definitely get some cheese. I'm telling ya. <laughs> Yo, this is where it's at. <laughs> keep going, Ariel. Keep going, buddy. <laughs> this is the Swiss uh, raquette. It comes with ham and then potatoes. I'm like I said, I think I'm skipping out on this one, but that's all you and mom. Gotcha. Here, here, mom, I got you a nice little fork. Thank you. For some uh, Swiss cheese raquette. Tastes like a cheesy potato with ham. A cheesy potato with ham. Yep. Ma, you want to get in on this? Oh, oh, I want Oh, pickle. what is that? Pickles? It's a pickle. Oh. It's a hidden pickle. <laughs> pickle surprise. <laughs> <laughs> pickle surprise. Look at that. Here's your pickle. Oh, look at you feeding mom. <laughs> oh, you didn't get any cheese. What do you think, Bon? Oh, it's a hot pickle. It's a hot pickle. No, but no one's got time for hot pickles. No. Ariel, you want some potato? Potato's good. Potato? Potato? Want to bite a potato? Yeah. Cheesy potato? Scoopsy potato? <laughs> she likes it? She likes it. Cheese. The Alps is located right next to Germany, so I think I'm gonna go get the other uh, cheese dish from Emil's and bring it over to the table because it's so hard to find a table when you're walking around World Showcase. One thing I have to say we need more tables and more trash cans. This whole area is a vibe. Everyone's dancing, apple strudel, schnickendoodle. I love it. <laughs> we grabbed all four power aids. Hey, hey. Ooh, that looks good. Yo, take care. Blue or red? Red. Red? Thank you. Blue for me. 
from Germany. They have the Schnicken Doodle. I think that's what it's called. Mom, you should know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think that's the tree. <laughs> You're just in a bad spot. But look at this. It kind of looks like a uh, like a lasagna mac and cheese. You oh know, my God. doesn't it? Yeah, it does kind of look like that. Yeah, and then there's ham and onion in it too. Oh, yeah. ma, that's right up your alley. Okay, there's the ham and the noodles, and the, you can see the cheese on top. Mild flavor, a little dry. Don't really recommend. Don't really recommend. <laughs> Let's try a second bite on the bottom. A little bit better. Still no flavor, but it's not the worst thing I've eaten. And with those two, we only have one more before we can head back and get the Completer Festival treat stamp. So just one more cheesy treat, and then we get the special free treat. Mm -hmm. After we complete the rest of Emile's fromage montage, I think we're gonna go ride Soren. That's my mom's favorite ride, along with my favorite ride. And it's kind of like a must do every time we come to Epcot. And then I don't know, we might uh, sneak out before the end of the night so that we can dodge the rain. Cause honestly, we got lucky. The first rainstorm, it was a downpour and we were standing right next to a building. But if we got caught in that rain, I don't think we'd be here right now. I think we'd have to go home and retreat cause we'd be so soaked. One of the things on the menu this year a lot of people are talking about is the Italian nachos over here in the Italy booth. Ma, you interested in trying these? Italian style nachos. Homemade beef ragout, pasta chips, tomato sauce, and dried ricotta cheese. Here you go, the Italian nachos. Wow, wow, they're different kind of nachos. Yeah, it's like meat sauce, ragout, and then pasta chips. Might as well dive in. Especially with this music. Look at the setting we have. Earlier I was talking about the storm coming in. That's the storm. Hopefully we don't get caught on it, but we're gonna try to finish up and try to make a quick park exit. Then I'll take this one over here with the cheese. Barom. What do you think, Bon? Pretty good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, mom's getting the big cheese scoop. I well. You want me to help you? Yes, any kind of scoop. That's teamwork right there. Thank you. There you go. Scoop see meat. For Ariel, she just got a clean chip. Chip <laughs> <Tip> down. <laughs> and another one bites the dust. Honestly, I'm not hating on that. Ma, what do you think? Not bad, right? Get some more of the beef. I feel like we should get more chips for almost $10, though. Yeah. I would get those nachos again every single time I come here. I think it's so delicious. The only thing is, is you need more chips. More chips because my mom ended up getting like a spoon to eat the leftover meat sauce. It was so good. Oh, I don't know what people say. A lot of people say it's not good. with somebody <laughs> with somebody who loves me Ooh, shut up and dance with me we're definitely gonna have to make food and wine a two-parter I think we're gonna just jump right over to Greece because my mom wants to get the griddled cheese and complete the uh, meals montage and the storm is rolling in, so I don't want us to get caught out in the rain. And she still wants to ride Soren, so we got a lot to do, so we're gonna have to jump over and skip some. Here we go, the griddled cheese. Bonnie, you going in? Yep. Yeah? She's trying it first. Look at how they have that little crispness to it. Yeah. Get a little bit of the honey and the uh, pistachio. Have you had this before? I feel like I have. Did you like it? I don't remember. Well, we're gonna find out. Yep. Mikey likes it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you wanna try it, Ma? I'll try it. This is 
pistachio. Yeah, pistachio, yeah. honey, and then I don't know what kind of cheese it is. I think Ariel wants to try it too. She's been pretty fasc fascinated with it. <laughs> she's, she's been scarfing everything up. I'll I know. Her. Want to try some cheese? Cheese? Wow. You like it? It's good? No. I'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> Do you want more cheese? I think like maybe like my whole cheese thing is I don't like the smell so much. And it's hard for me to eat a lot of cheese that have like very sharp smells, like sharp cheddar cheese. I can eat like mozzarella cheese on pizza and stuff like that, but eh, I don't I'm not that adventurous. I think that's the only cheese I like. Pizza. <laughs> Well, now that we've got our book ready to go uh, get our redemption stamp, I think we should just make our way up to uh, Swirls, is it? Shimmering Sips. We're making our way to the front of the park so we can get our redemption. I'm telling you, I don't know why, I just feel like a proud accomplishment whenever you finish one of these. And they do this for all the different festivals. They have Festival of the Arts, uh, the uh, uh, Festival of the Holidays. They do the cookie stroll, and I love it. Hey, how are you? We did it, Bonnie. We you did. excited? Yes. I don't even know what the re, uh, complete your treater is. I don't know. What, are you going to try it, whatever it is? Yeah. At least I know you get a cup or something. Oh, they got some fan. Oh, it looks really good back there. I see what they got going on. Look at that. Thank you. Very fancy. There's the completer stamp. And there's that for Ah, look at this. Very fancy. There it is. It's cheesecake soft serve with a cheesecake and a meal fromage montage uh, cup. That's what you get when you completed this. That's what you've been doing this whole time. Are you ready? Come on, you gotta, you gotta dig in too. I'll try one. I'll try. Here we go. You ready? Yes, please. I feel like all I'm getting is the cheesecake one. Oh, Bonnie, look at you double spooning it. One's for Ariel. <laughs> there you go. All right. We did it! Yes. <laughs> oh, I hate it. But is it good? Mm -hmm. You guys like cheesecake. I just don't like cheese. Was it worth it? All that cheese you've digested today, and now you get rewarded with more cheese. And I just slapped my cheese spoon all over you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the redemption treat even though I've had it before and I know I'm not a fan, but my mom kind of put me on the spot. She's like, oh no, you try it too. So what do you guys think your favorite thing of uh, the Food and Wine Festival was? Well, I know Ariel's was the ham and the potatoes. She ate it all. Mine is, um, I can say this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Bon? I like the ham and the potatoes as well, but not a meal's for both of it. A meal's fromage montage. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it has to be the slider. The slider. The slider. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it was fun, though. And you guys got that. Oh, my God. We're almost done. We can wash it up and add it to the collection. Yeah. Yep. And the worst thing was the fried cheese. The fried cheese, the fried cheese was the fried. worst? Yes. Wow. Worse I than like the pickle milkshake? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think my favorite thing was probably the the uh, zebra dome, the white chocolate Amarillo dome cake there over at the refreshment stand. I'm trying to keep my eye on my mom because she gets that like tunnel vision. She's all the way up there. Let's see if we can zoom in on her and see where she's at. I lost her. Oh, there she is. She's in between those two people. <laughs> I wonder until she notices uh, we're not with her. We found her. How long you been up here? Well, Did you get here until you noticed we weren't behind you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then thinking, where do I go from here? Yeah. <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here today. Honestly, I had a lot of fun. I know it was probably a little bit out of order because, you know, we were, you know, doing everything for the whole family, riding some rides, doing the meals, and just hanging out and having a good time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Of course, we couldn't forget about little Gracie girl. You eating your dinner? Your din din? Oh, okay, go back. <laughs>